Welcome Virgo to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of mid-June. I want to thank you that have um, prompted me to get these videos out there. Thank you so much. Uh, for those of you that know me, that uh, I'm really started reading cards. I'm actually a psychic medium, so I read my environment. And um, you may think, Petrella, what's going on out there in, in the country? Not much. <laughs> and you're probably right. However, as I was sitting here meditating for the Virgo, I saw, uh, I have a garden, and I saw some of my plants. They're already planted, and they're getting ready to poof. Tomatoes, peppers, the blooms are there, the blossoms are there. And that's how I was feeling about the Virgo. I feel that many of you have already planted seeds. The, pleads are, the seeds are there. You need to trust your intuition, your channeling information to yourselves. Trust your angels, Virgo. All of that is on, online. Um, I feel that with this intuition is budget planning. Plan for your abundance. Pay what needs to get paid. Do what you need to do when you need to do it. Um, I really get you need to trust this perfect plan. Some of you have been butting against it head first. Virgo, uh, look in for the month of July, seven weeks from now, possibly. This could be seven months, but I'm not feeling the seven months. You're going to see some kind of good fortune. And I feel that you're already on the good fortune, Virgo. Love, romance, relationship. I get it. This will not resonate with all of you, but it does for many of you. Okay, so Virgo, I feel that when we were talking about you have these good seeds planted and every, you know, this is ready, just getting ready to come forth. Guess what? You're going to be getting some shocking news and it's going to be a, another um, mountain that you got to climb over, but you can do it. You're a mountain climber, Virgo. And at the other end is a contract. Whether this is truly a marital or a relationship contract, uh, which it could be, when you take care of this and you get over this mountain, and look, I want to title this video, You Are Captain of Your Own Ship, Virgo. You're captain of your own ship. So whatever has happened to you, you can't uh, blame this person, these circumstances, or whatever. For the love of God, look at that runner. I forget his name right now, but an Indian man who was sabotaged and had to get shoes out of the trash can, and he ended up being a winner. You know why? Because he was a winner. Um, there's a contract waiting for you, Virgo, on that other side. A contract. You're going to get what you thought you had lost. You're going to be cutting off old people, debts, uh, relationships that you have invested in invested so much of your energy, whether this is just thought energy, hurt energy, those are all energies. You're captain of your own ship. When your thoughts go back there, just remind yourself, this is a big waste of energy. Let it go. Yeah, here it is. You're making a successful home and a happy home for yourself. Let's go with career finance, Virgo. Oh, looking good. Oh, what else do we got here? Oh, there's the conflict. What do I do with this money? What do I go? Here's some female energy. You may have to fight. Uh, some things are going to come to light. So maybe some of you spend too much money on in one area. You're going to have to stop it. Um, this could be where uh, you know you're spending money where you shouldn't be spending money, Virgo. You got to stop. It's really going to cause conflict. Career finance. Here's the money. You have the money. It's going to be coming in, Virgo. So what are you going to be doing with this money? That is where, uh, that's where this is all sitting for right now. I want to um, pull a couple cards. I was so blessed. I, you know what? I moved and 
I found my original cards from, oh my God, they're so old. I'll do them next time. But when I do my private reads, I do the shadow side and the strength of, uh, of a person. And so well, we're only gonna do the uh, shadow side of the Virgo for during this time. This is the shadow side during this time. You know what? I hear an airplane going up above me. I, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. Um, I do not live by an airport. This is probably a farmer's plane. Doesn't matter. Look, Virgo, you're going somewhere. Whether it's by train, plane, or automobile, you're going somewhere. And this is your shadow side. And it is taking care of your mind, body, and spirit. You need to take better care of yourself, Virgo. You're not taking good care of yourself. Now, this is your strength. This is your strength. And it's luck and right timing. It's luck and right timing. So keep your prayer strong. Align your heart and your mind with the divine. Please remember that. Because you're going to be getting information and channeling, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit, the uh, your angels. Trust your angels. And you know what? Somebody made an accusation of me the uh, a, a couple years ago. And I went to see this old man in West Virginia. This preacher man was telling me I must be of the devil because I have psychic ability, right? So I went to see this old man that's eating an apple, you know, with a knife. And he... Uh, he called me by uh, the name he's always called me. And he says, well, who do you serve? Who are you serving? <laughs> and when I said, he knows who I serve. I serve the one God, one God, the one true loving God. You know, he's spirit, right? So um, that's when I realized I don't really need to care what they think about me. <laughs> so... Um, with that, you too, Virgo, you need to do what you need to do. You're captain of your own ship. There's no reason to go back and say, well, I'm this way because of this, or this happened to me and I have this. You know what? That's a personal choice called free will. If this resonated with you, please click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, I got this deck. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card. They're from the um, Mori tribe. Uh, a gentleman, his wife is of the Mori tribe. <clears throat> I looked up the people. My goodness, beautiful. If you see that pathetic looking dog in the background, he's very, very old. Um, we can't believe that he still made another winner, really. His name's Frank, by the way. He's, God, 17 years old. 17 or 18 in people life. Okay, Virgo, show a spirit, Virgo. Moco, tattoo, 21. For those of you that are familiar with the uh, Mori tribe, the uh, you could get deeper with the interpretation. I so agree uh, with... I love reading what you guys have to say. I'm going to be reading from the book just so I could get a real, but it says honor, triumph, holistic well-being, positive forces. The art of tattooing was very sacred and surrounded by strict tapu and spiritual protocols. So some of you may be uh, <clears throat> marking your way of passage through this time in your life with a tattoo um, but again I feel like it should be in a holy manner and uh, private readings Petrella's intuitive insights.com listed in the link below for those of you that would like to attend a great spirit mind body spirit event uh, in Beaver Pennsylvania it's in between Pittsburgh 
PA in Youngstown, Ohio. And look, in July, I'm hosting a tea party at a country club. The tickets are only $65. There will be several readers on site. We're gonna give a brief little lecture on how to read tea leaves. And you leave with a little gift. Um, again, there you go, the tea party. And uh, private readings. Petrella's intuitiveinsights.com listed in the link below. For those of you that are helping my channel to grow fast, it's free. Uh, click the like, share, and subscribe. With that, thank you so much for a go. God bless you.